Chamber, um, because I've had the opportunity to compare being a councillor in Ryde and now a councillor in Sydney. And one of the things that we looked at tonight was um, was uh, a, a nighttime grant for um, Vogue um, Fashion Street. Um, and the scale of the, the grant is, is enormous, $180,000 for a one night event in Sydney. It generates $30 million of trade on that night and they've proven that that $30 million of trade doesn't take that trade from any other time or day. It's new business. Um, so it's really interesting to see how these sorts of things work uh, in Sydney. Um, here in Ryde, I have to say that you are blessed with having uh, a fantastic chamber umbrella organisation. Uh, in Sydney, they are only just getting to it now. And in fact, I've introduced Tony to them to try to encourage them to copy the model that you have here uh, across Ryde. Um, they are trying to create an alliance amongst a number of different chambers, uh, but of course all the chambers are squabbling about who's going to be in charge. Um, whereas here Tony just said he's in charge and that's it. So, uh, no, no, to be honest, no, this was a great process here and that's why it is so successful here in Ryde. Um, I just want to just say something about that nighttime um, trade that we, uh, um, grant that we just gave in Sydney just now. Because here in Ryde, um, the city of Ryde did a nighttime uh, economy study. It did a lot of work and it recognised, with a lot of input from you and other people, that there was a lot of uh, there was a great need for um, nighttime trade and for uh, for businesses to be able to have the flexibility to be able to trade in the evenings and the night times and later, and for uh, customers to be able to access that. Uh, and that was a, a great deal of effort. So uh, I urge you all to, in fact, be involved in that because I think it's a really important missing piece for Ride that we really need to encourage that and have the council uh, encourage that as well. Perhaps the Riverside Business Championship can look at how it can perhaps have a subcommittee or at least drive the council to create a nighttime economy subcommittee to actually drive that along. I'll give you an example. There's a, a hotel that's being built at, in Waterloo Road. It's going to be fantastic. I think we'll all really appreciate it. They're struggling to get a licence past midnight uh, in an area which is inhabited by nobody at the moment. Um, um, and and I think that that's something that all of us would actually be appreciative of, to be able to go to somewhere, to be able to have a quiet drink. Uh, this is not like this, a brawling bar sort of place. This is a place where you can have meetings. They'll have meeting rooms and restaurants and those sorts of things. So, you know, I think we need to sort of continue to... And I know Councillor Lane here has been a big supporter of, um, of the late night economy and he's been pressing that through Council as well. So um, I think this is something that we really need to think about in Ride. I think it's really important for us that it's going to grow our, all of our overall businesses here in Ride uh, and it's something that we can really get behind. So thanks for the opportunity.